my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about 10 things that you can do if you're quarantined at home for the unforeseeable future. If you're like me and a lot of my friends around the world, we are trying to stay home and stay safe and healthy from the COVID-19 virus that's going around. And I have been instructed to work from home for the next two weeks. And because of my um, immune system, I, I'm on a medication which suppresses my immune system. I'm a little bit more high risk, so I've actually decided to just stay in my house. I'm not gonna go anywhere else. I will go outside and go for walks, but a lot of people are thinking in their minds, what am I gonna do at home for so long? I'm excited about being at home for so long, and I'm gonna tell you guys 10 things that I'm gonna do with my dolls over the next couple of weeks to make my time at home more pleasurable and more exciting. So let's get started. Number 10 on my countdown of things you can do with your dolls if you're quarantined is make a catalog of your dolls. What you have in your collection, what the values of those items are, pictures of them if you can add pictures. That way if something ever happens to you, if there's ever an insurance situation, you'll have a catalog of your dolls. The way I prefer to do this is through Google Sheets because Google Sheets is free to use and it's a spreadsheet type app through Google Google Drive that you can use. So I would recommend to just start a new Google Sheet. Now I already have one, but I'm not gonna share that one with you guys. And you might wanna say name, um, doll type, value, year produced, something like that to that effect. And so you could put all that information in here. So if I put Popovi Sisters, Tawny Owl, and then the type of doll, resin BJD, and then I put the value in and the year produced. So I can put all that information in there and have it. And then let's say I wanted to insert a picture of that doll. Now you can go insert, and then you wanna insert an image, image in a cell, which is something you can do. So if I have, let's see if I have something um, in my photos. I do, I'm just gonna use, let's see, I'll actually have a lot of pictures here in my photos, which is nice. So I'm gonna use, where's a picture of her? Keep going. This is the nice thing about having a Google phone is that I'm able to um, grab my pictures. I don't see Tawny Owl right here, but I'm just gonna grab a picture of another doll just to kind of show you how this would work. So I'm just gonna throw this one in there and insert it. And so then the picture is gonna be inside the cell. So it's there, you can barely see it, but if you were to click in the cell, um, or if you were to enlarge that cell, you could see the photo, or the photo's there. Let's see, put image over cells, there it is. So it becomes very big, but then I can undo that and just have the photo there. So you can go back and forth and toggle to see the image of the doll. And so that's a good way to catalog your collection. It's a good activity to do if you have a lot of dolls like myself, even if you don't have a lot of dolls, let's say you only have a handful of dolls, it's still good to have records of this and what you've got going on so that if anybody ever needs to know that, for any reason you have documentation. So that's an activity. While it's not maybe not as fun as some others, it's a good activity to do at this time. Number nine on my list of things to do if you're stuck inside with your dolls is to organize your doll clothing collection, which is something I haven't done yet, but I'm about to do sometime over the next two weeks. So you can see I have a chest full of doll clothes and they are just sort of crammed haphazardly in here. But what I plan to do over the next couple of weeks is remove things, get them organized, um, get everything packaged the way it should be, get my full sets together because the full sets that come with dolls, um, when you first get them, it's important for me to have those all in one place. And I also have on the other side a bunch of stuff just crammed in. So one of the big activities I'm going to tackle is organizing the doll clothes. So, and hopefully, um, I'll be able to find things more quickly. 
than I can now. Another thing you can organize besides clothing are wigs and shoes. So wigs and shoes, I have my wigs in a shoe organizer and I have them organized by size and I used to have them organized by color. That's not really the rule anymore. And you can see there's some extra stuff hanging out in here that doesn't really belong. So that's another thing that I'm gonna be doing is reorganizing my wigs, getting rid of the stuff that doesn't belong. And then you can see I have my shoes in this jewelry organizer hanging on the wall and they're pretty well organized but what i plan to do is just make sure everything is organized by size type things like that and i'll leave links below to some comparable jewelry and shoe organizers from amazon so you guys can check those out if this is something you think you might want to do while you're stuck at home but you don't have these sorts of things maybe you can go order one and Prime will get it to you pretty quickly if you're if you're with Prime and that way you can start organizing right away. Okay, number eight on my list of things to do goes hand in hand with number nine, which is while you're organizing your doll accessories, decide on the ones that you don't really use anymore. You can choose to sell them, donate them, or even put them up for trade in a group and maybe get something new to you that you're gonna use more often. So I'll be going through all of my doll clothes, not only the ones you just saw, but also the ones on these racks, and I have more in these drawers below. So I'm gonna go through everything, including the wigs and shoes, and kind of thin out what I don't use anymore. So I'll, I'll either put them up for sell or trade um, in the groups and see if I'm able to trade for something or sell them and get a little extra money for something else that I want. So that's a really good way to downsize your collection or also earn a little bit of extra money to buy something that you think you may use more often uh, for your dolls. Number seven on the things that you can do with your dolls is take headshots of all of your dolls. That's something that I like to do at least once a year and it kind of goes along with number 10, the rule of cataloging all your dolls. So what I recommend for headshots, and let's say we're gonna use this little sweetheart, is I have a light box for doing this. You can see my light box here, I purchased it on Amazon. But if you don't have a light box, you can just use a nice light colored plain background and you want to put your doll there and just take a headshot and that helps you keep up with what dolls you have and who they are and you can label them and then you'll have the pictures and they're cool to make collages with i like to use the um, instagram collage maker and because you can fit nine photos on that of headshots just so that you have a record of what dolls you have in your collection. So that's a really great activity to do. It takes a long time. Every time, well, depending on how many dolls you have, but every time I do headshots, it takes me all afternoon. It takes a long time to do that. So that's a really good activity, not only for the sake of cataloging, like in number 10, but also just to have like a picture representation of what your collection looks like. Number six on my list of things to do when you're stuck at home that are doll related are watch your favorite YouTube videos related to dolls. That seems a little self-serving, right? But since I'm gonna be at home, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos than usual. So I plan to have a lot more content, but there's also a lot of other great YouTube channels out there that are dolly focused. I really like Sighthound Ladies channel. I really like Pinot Noir Ice Cream Bar. That channel's great. There's so many wonderful channels out there that you guys can look at um, and they're just really awesome for content and just to learn more about dolls. Um, I really like the Reluctant Collector. She does a lot of things that are um, that are new to me or that I can learn about. And so I think that's a good good use of your time is go look at some of that content that maybe you don't have a lot of time to look at normally. And in that vein, number five that I'm going to say is start a social media account for one of the platforms that you don't already have. If you don't have an Instagram, start an Instagram account. If you don't have a Facebook or that, or your Facebook is not doll related, you know, start a Facebook page for your doll collection. Even if you're the only person at first that sees it, it's there. Start a YouTube channel like me and then just spend some time this week 
playing around with videos and lighting and video editing. That's something that, you know, I'm going to be doing this week. So it's something that can be a lot of fun for you and that can also kind of put some more out into the community for those of us that like to share and like to see what others are doing with their collecting. Number four on my list is use this time to practice something that you don't get to practice very often. So for example, you might want to try wig making. I've got like some hair here and I've got some natural fibers and some curlers, all kind of stuff. You know, something that you don't normally have the time to do. Maybe it's sewing. Maybe you want to try sewing for your dolls. Maybe you want to hone in on your photography skills and you've got a light box or you've got an outdoor space that you can use during this time. Maybe you want to practice working on that. So this is a great opportunity for you to take your dolls or one doll that's your favorite and kind of work with them and try to do some things that normally you don't have time to do but that you've always wanted to do. There's lots of great free patterns tutorials, uh, YouTube videos about how to do all these things and how to perfect some of those skills. For me personally, I'm going to look at trying to edit some of my videos better, starting with this one, trying to add some little extra special things in there. We'll see how that goes. I probably shouldn't say it in the video I'm trying to do it on, but you know, I'll have some extra time, so I'll spend a little extra time doing that. So that's one big thing you can do while you have some of this extra time inside. Number three on my list of things you can do for your doll while you're stuck inside is craft something for your doll. For example, some jewelry. I have some beads here that I've had stuck in this little jar for ages now that I haven't done anything with, but you know, maybe this is a good time for me to go ahead and make some doll jewelry or do some something for my doll with that. Maybe you want to craft something else for your doll. Maybe you want to try making doll eyes if you have the supplies for that or you want to try your hand at doll face-ups if you have those supplies. The good thing is, at least here in the U.S., it seems like the postal system is still working so most things you could probably order and have within a couple of days if you decide on a project you want to undertake. So that's a good thing to do uh, while we're here at home and you're just kind of stuck inside is think about what kind of things would you like to make for your doll or practice making for your doll. Number two on my list of things you can do is go window shopping or go actual shopping online for some of your favorite doll items. So for example, I had some things in my cart, but they're all sold out already on Etsy, but you can still go and you can look and favorite some other items. So if I was looking, for example, for Popovi sisters things, I may want to go look and some favorite some things and you know, see what else is going on and try to just fill up my cart with cool things that I might like or that I might want for, um, oh, this one's gonna be a favorite. Let's favorite that one. So there's all kinds of cool stuff you could do. And keep in mind that during this time, doll shows have been canceled here, both here in the US and abroad. And so a lot of our favorite designers and doll artists are not going to these shows so let's think about that and if we're going to buy we can still support them even if we're not able to go to the shows so keep that in mind um, during this time you can also go to let's say you know your favorite um, like for example I've been looking at smart dolls lately you can go there and you can start kind of dreaming and building your cart I've been doing that build your cart with things that you want and kind of decide you know is am I ready to buy this now or you know, what do I need to sell? So if you're like going to be selling some accessories like we talked about before, how much do you need to sell in order to trade off for your cart here or your Etsy cart or whatever you may be doing. So that's a really cool thing and it's a lot of fun and it's almost like a virtual doll show uh, to be able to go look at these things while we're sitting here at home. We're finally to number one. And if you haven't noticed throughout this countdown, one of the best things about being quarantined is being able to wear whatever you want. So my, I'm, I'm like dressed nicely up top, but down below is all pajamas and it's so comfortable and I feel so relaxed about being home for so long. So hopefully you can embrace that relaxation and feel that way too and you're not gonna go stir crazy. But my number one favorite thing to do with my dolls while I'm inside is have a theme day around my dolls. So for example, I have the newest doll, Smart Doll Justice here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a Japan theme day. So what does that mean? I'm gonna drink from my Japan coffee mug, so I'm gonna have some nice coffee. I'm gonna have some J 
Japanese candy that I brought back from Japan. And while you may not have any Japanese candy at home, you can probably buy some online and get it in time to do this. We're gonna put on one of our favorite Ghibli films. Here we go. So the cat returns. And I have a whole library of these. If you don't have something like this on DVD, you can always uh, watch anime on Netflix or find something else to do. Also, ramen noodles are great, cheap, and fun for a Japanese themed day. So let's say you don't have a Japanese doll, but you have a German doll. You could eat some German candy, find some German recipes, and find something cool to watch on TV that's related to that. Or French dolls, Spanish dolls, anything like that. If you've got American dolls, American Girl dolls, there's a great example. Have yourself a pizza party with your American Girl dolls. So there's all kinds of fun themes you can do with your dolls. Find a movie that goes along with a the theme, get some snacks, and have yourself a party. quarantined right now. I hope that some of them have given you some suggestions to keep you from going out of your mind with boredom. If you decide to do any of them, please leave me a comment below and let me know which one your favorite was or what your favorite idea was or if you're ever going to do any of them in the future. So guys, thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like the content on my channel, please subscribe consider subscribing. Over the next couple weeks, there's gonna be a lot of content because I'm gonna be here at home and I've already thought of a bunch of ideas and things to do. So I'm gonna try to push out at least one video per day, if not two. Um, editing takes a while, so maybe not two. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.